saying my name. I told this bitch stop saying my fucking name. Honey, I know you. in the fucking world. I am Jose Mourinho. Okay, 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 okay. We have 40. All right, let's get to 50. Shit. This can't be. What's just happened there? Mike. Come on, Spully Boy! Yes! Double 12! Yeah. You know you make me wanna Showered, clean undies, deodorant, fresh clothes, no perfume, do I stick?
Still need these glasses, but I never wear them. I'll bet you look great with glasses on. Oh, I'm really And on them. they go. Oh. Whoa. What? Nothing. <laughs> You've mugged me off, you've embarrassed me, yeah. you've made me feel like shit. I've pretty much cried in front of you and you've not even gone, are you okay? You don't have that. You're sitting there bullshitting to yourself and everybody else and you're saying that you, you've you waited four weeks for this. Yeah. If it was that special, you wouldn't be acting like this. Because well, when I'm, I'm not going to follow you. No, I'm, I'm not going to follow you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Walk away then. Walk away. Walk okay, away. I won't. Walk I won't. away. That's all you do is walk away because you don't want people. Okay, first question. Oh my god. Look at what's three plus two? I know that. I've known that since kindergarten. That is so easy. That's five. I'm about to get 100 on this test. This is so easy, man. Okay, I don't know this one, but that's fine. It's only question two. We can just skip it and come back to it later. All right, next question, next question. You want what? Gabir, Allah. Allah, Gabir. You know back home I work a seven job because I don't go college? But you want to take a gap year. Habibi, you already have gap in your teeth. Why you want another gap? You want to take the year and find yourself. Oh, I find you, Habibi. I find you. You in my house. You eat my food. You piss me off. I find you. Maybe I put a gap between us and we send you back home. What do you think? Fuck my life. Don't touch my Coke Zero. I told you fucking 310, not 30 fucking 7. Bye-bye. Thank fuck that's over. And no offense, Dad, but you're a massive bastard. Get away from the prefect room entrance. Move away from the entrance. By the way, are you wearing that? Because you look like a cancer patient. I mean, I could hear you, and no offense, but you sound really shit. Not your friend. You're a fucking lesbian. You're fat. Go away. Again. Take it. Shut no. up. Who asked you? When I say fast, I don't mean knock me out of the fucking bar. <gasps> what? What? Okay, I know we are BFFs forever and ever, but what you are doing is wrong. What? You're doing your homework 10 minutes before she's gonna collect it? Yeah. I would sacrifice my life for this school, okay? So I'm sorry, but you leave me no choice but to do this. Put your fucking arm down. Teach! Dude, stop. Teach! Stop. Teacher! Can I go to the bathroom, please? Oh my. Somebody asked me what I do if a student is crying in my classroom. This kind of thing actually has happened before. Not often, but it does happen. It does kind of depend on the situation and how well I know the student, but typically if I see a student who is like visibly upset or crying, then I'll just go up to them and quietly ask them if they wanna go in the hallway or like take a lap or just take a few minutes outside of the classroom so they can gather themselves. Or if it seems like a more intense situation, I might recommend that they go down to the counselor and just have a talk with them. I try not to pry on like what's bugging them because I don't wanna make them feel Feel uncomfortable he's so hot who chad yeah oh my god i think he's so hot too come on let's stare at him let's experience him together the fuck oh we have next lesson together come on let's walk together to class no what the heck why not just shut the hell your mouth oh just consider me a plus one i'm not your friend <laughs> i'm so excited for the weekend why what's this weekend What's going on? We're studying at my house. Oh my god, me too. Fuck no. <laughs> I'll be there. Shut I up. know where you live. You have no friends. <laughs> I'm so excited. Students are starting to complain about school and the school system. They say it is the most draining place and that the staff doesn't care about their mental health, just if their thighs are showing in their genes. Parents say the kids are overreacting, but students disagree. 
If you walk through the school halls, you see kids walking with their heads down and AirPods in. When walking in classroom, kids have heads down and legs shaking. Some students say, when will teachers take the hint and see what is going on? Parents say they have been through this and get what they mean, but students say they were not raised in this generation. The work is overwhelming, the drama is hurtful, and social media adds more on top. They say it has drained the energy out of them and made them feel burnt out. Pay attention to your kids and understand why the grades are dropping. Uh, I'm not finished. Oh my God, can you let me do what I need to do? Okay. Yellow. Red. Brown. Pink. Green. Hand it over. What? Give me your phone. No. Excuse me? No. Give it to me. No. Am I speaking in a foreign language? Well, clearly, because you don't know what the word no means. You were texting in my class. I was texting my mom. While I was teaching. It was urgent. Well, you can do that on your own time. Actually, I can't. She just went into surgery. Then you'll see her when she comes out. I'm not giving you my phone. Pardon? It belongs to me. Did you pay for it? What? Well, you said it's your phone, but I assume someone else pays a bill, most likely mom or dad. What does that have to do with anything? It doesn't belong to you because you didn't pay for it. Then my mom can take it if she wants. Oh wait, she can't, because she's in surgery. Would you like to go to the principal's office? Sure, I'd love to. Great, give me your phone first. Oh my God. I won't have you disrupting my class. I'm disrupting your class. Precisely. And the entire time that you've been standing here berating me, you could have given a lecture on four of Henry's six wives. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna ask you again. It's my phone. It's my classroom. Did you pay for it? We look down now to 16 year olds and say, where are you gonna go to college? What are you going to do for the rest of your life? How do they know? Give them a break. Just say, look, I think after high school, Take a year off, take two years off, join the Peace Corps, travel, go figure things out, or just enjoy yourself. If every time someone asks you a question, you try to say the right answer, your entire life is a test. And when did you have the most anxiety in grammar school and high school? No question. On test day. No so your entire life become this test. I ain't trying to say the right answer. I am just doing what I feel. You were told that if you didn't go to college, you would never amount to anything, okay? Then you get to college, and you're taking these classes because you were told you had to go here anyway, right. but you don't really know what you want to do and don't know who you are, so at the end of the day, you end up with a degree that you can't use Doesn't mean anything. because you don't know what the fuck you want to do, right? Mm -hmm. share with her and you're normally nice. She's trying to get a green. I'm going to give her a green one if I have one. She'll take any color. There might not be green. I don't have a green. I just have purple and orange. That's oh, all. Oh, purple. That's my favorite. That's what I just choose. That's my favorite. Thank you, Jack, for sharing. Did you have a good day at school today? Me have good day. Mm, I don't Make it. What color? Make it. What Make color? It. I want red. I got one red. Red. Eat it. You got one last one. Text you that time. Cause I eat the great food. I'm gone. I'm gone. These are a few things that we all hate about school. 
Trust me, if you didn't hate these things during school, well, then you were homeschooled, okay? Anyway, let's begin. Number one. You know when you were in class, right, and your teacher would, like, ask a question to the class, but you don't know the fucking answer? So you would, like, avoid eye contact with the teacher, you know? And for some reason, they still fucking picked you! I'm not looking at you, it means I don't know the answer! I'm not that dickhead that's like, hey, hey, me, me! I don't know it! So you picking me is just stalling the class and wasting time, okay? And then if you don't know the answer, the teacher thinks that you weren't paying attention. No, I was paying attention. It just goes in one ear and out the fucking other, all right? Number two. Okay, uh, this one's a bit embarrassing and it's happened to me many times. And I'm sure you guys out there have experienced the exact same thing. You know, like when the whole class collectively has the same answer? You know, like on a math problem or like any type of problem. And like, let's say the answer was like 12. And on your piece of paper, you wrote down 590. And you have to just go along with the class? Yeah, yeah, 590. Yeah, what the fuck was I thinking? Ah, oh, fucking idiot I am. How the fuck did they get 12? Where, where did this answer come from? Huh? And last but definitely not least, at number three, this was fucking pain when you were in school, okay? When YouTube and cool maths games were blocked. <laughs> or just like any website that was fun in general, your school IT tech nerd blocked that shit. Bro, what the fuck? You know, but if you had half a brain, like me, you know, what I did was, uh, just searched up unblocked YouTube. Unblocked cool maths game. Now those are for the smart boys, okay? And girls. But yeah, that shit was fucking lame, man. 